Where's the man of peace? Not Obama, that's for sure. There'll be no end of war with Obama, and there'll be no economic miracle recovery either. He has an infrastructure development plan which would entail bond issuances which would allow uh, foreign uh, countries and uh, companies and corporations to invest and speculate on these bonds in order to raise money to repair the infrastructure in this country. But in effect, what it, what it will actually do is through the speculation in this market, it will help to bail out financial markets that are being troubled right now allow them to then turn around and purchase hard assets. That is the United States infrastructure that they'll be able to buy piece by piece through this plan that he has. So it's a backdoor way to help financial industry overcome the tremendous losses of the mortgage debacle and to sell off our country to the highest bidder. Piece by piece, road by road, bridge by bridge. That's his big plan. He also has a couple of um, interesting economic advisors. A man by the name of Goolsby, who is a Skull and Bones member, very much into free trade, quote unquote free trade, which we all know free trade when it comes to the United States means that we are lowered to a lower playing field and have to end up being the losing partner. And also a man by the name of Liebman who has expressed the desire to privatize at least partially Social Security. This is something that the people of this country have soundly rejected before when it was presented by President Bush initially. And yet here we have it coming around again with Obama, the peace candidate. Finally, he also has uh, George Soros as a financial advisor. And he also has an economic advisor by the name of uh, David Cutler, who uh, notoriously thinks that... Um, rising health care costs are good for the economy. So, what does that tell you? Does that tell you that there's going to be any effort under any centralized universal health plan that Obama puts forth that will actually address the real issue, the real problem, and that is the exorbitant fees and prices that we as consumers have to pay for health care in this country? I think not. When you have an economic advisor on his team who thinks that rising health care costs are good for the economy. So, whatever kind of universal health care proposal he makes, it will not address the real problem of exorbitant fees and prices. Obama is clearly in the hands of the elites and he is in the hands of moneyed interests. And all of his advisors point this out completely. He has a lot of charisma and that uh, is certainly true and it can't be taken away from him. But the same thing can be said for other people in history who have spoken a great game, but have delivered nothing. And so far, I've heard him say nothing. When he speaks, he says nothing. When he speaks, it doesn't make any sense. It stirs an emotional response that causes you to listen. But there have been many leaders, some good, some bad, who have come before who have had that same kind of style and led their people down the road sometimes to something good but most oftentimes to something bad. And I have to say really that I really feel sorry for those in the anti-war crowd who are rallying behind Obama because he did not vote for the Iraq war initially and he quote-unquote 
wants to bring the troops home from Iraq. I feel sorry for you if you really truly believe that the majority of our troops are going to be coming home from Iraq if Obama becomes president, because it's not going to happen. Because even if he does remove some troops from Iraq, chances are they're going to be sent to Afghanistan because he wants more troops there. Does this sound like the man of peace? I don't think so. Next time he gives a speech, listen to what he really says. Listen to the actual words and sentences that come out of his mouth. And ask yourself, does he make any sense or am I just being glided along on some emotional response that he's hitting because of his charisma. No, Obama as president is a bad thing. Clinton as president is a bad thing, but if I had to choose between the two of them, I'd take Clinton. Thank you. Good night.